Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a profit pack in 148 scale and it copies World War II fighter aircraft, it's F4F4 Wildcat in its early version. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so it will be interesting to check what is actually supplied in this nice box. And I have to note the box art, so here uh, we have a hint that maybe you can copy this whole scene with a zero from Edward and also Wildcat from Edward. Of course it will be up to you, but it's quite an interesting, I would say, idea. And I hope that this picture or this image is also available as a poster so that you can put it on your wall if you would like to get it as a poster for framing. So box size here is standard for such release from Edward, here is comparison with my hand and on the side you will find some information about the manufacturer, we also have some safety devices and here on the opposite side we have six marking options for this aircraft. I wouldn't say that they're uh, too colorful but that's something what you expect from Wildcat so no surprise here. And by the way the kit number is 82202. So Let's open it. It's a top opening box and here is what we have inside. You can notice that we have the clear sprue on the top so we will talk about it first and then gradually we will move on to the grey plastic parts which are also packed into several plastic bags. So now I'm opening this ziplock bag and here we have canopy parts for our wildcat in 148 scale as you remember so if i zoom in you can see that molding quality is really nice of course we can copy the open cabin on this aircraft which is quite valuable especially in such large scale it would be strange to see the closed cockpit configuration and as you can see we have a really nice molding on all parts and do not forget that we are getting here the profit pack so it means there are masks included and it also means that it will be easy to paint all these parts because you won't have to deal with cutting the small stickers you basically have them ready to go out of the box next i'm opening another plastic bag as you can hear it's a resealable plastic bag so it's quite easy to open and here we have this gray plastic sprue. So here we have fuselage parts, maybe I'll open the lenses even more so that you can see what I'm talking about. So both halves are molded together with a tail fin but without the cooling. We also have recessed panel lines and rivets here. We have the special installation tabs for the wings because as you can see wing, each side of the wing will be actually held in place with help of this tab which will be protruding through the special opening. And of course we have separate rudder here. If I flip it over here inside you can see that we have some guiding pins and tabs for the cockpit. But cockpit will be assembled separately and then inserted into the fuselage. And if we zoom in even closer here you can take a closer look at the internals. And if we flip it over here you can take a closer look at the external features of this aircraft which look rather nice. And that's a perfect example of what Edward can achieve with modern technologies. It's quite impressive in my opinion because a few years ago we couldn't even imagine such level of quality. Next we continue with wing parts. So it's a sprue H and that's what is different for the F4 F4 because we have different panels placement on the top wing house and if I zoom in here you can take a closer look at what I'm talking about. Note that flaps are pre-molded so if you look here you can see what I'm talking about in regard to flaps we have ailerons separate. If you would like to have flaps in a dropped position you will have to get the separate brassing kit which is sold for extra money so be ready to spend a bit more. And here you can take a closer look at the opposite side of these parts. Obviously there are no features for the main wheel wells because as you remember Wildcat has main wheel wells in the fuselage and actually Edward offers a uh, special brassing set if you're, mm, let's say, searching for more features. But believe me, even this original grey plastic parts set, it offers a lot out of the box. And in a second I will show you what I'm talking about. So for example this sprue L, here we have parts 
for the cockpit and also for the main wheel wells. As you can see, this panel or uh, this wall is molded together with the special tabs which will be holding wing in place. As I said before, we have one piece pilot seat here. We have a lot of parts for the landing gear uh, struts because it's quite a complex design, as you remember. So, Edward. Uh, nicely copied it here and it will take some time to align everything together even though we have uh, quite a smart design here so it should come handy. So here you can take a closer look at all these parts. Note that some features are pre-molded which is also nice because there is a lot of stuff which should look good once you bring it out with help of washes and maybe some weathering so that it will look even more natural. And of course as I said before you can replace not only the main wheel wells with the brass inset, you can also replace the landing gear wheels, you can replace the cockpit. So a lot of stuff can be upgraded with original accessories. The only thing which is needed is money, obviously. <laughs> Next, we continue with another plastic sprue. So here we have the tail surfaces, we have the separate elevators in several versions. We have the separate ailerons, we have few tanks, we have more parts for the engine bay, we have this uh, machine gun barrels and again everything looks nice so there is nothing to complain about here even the thinnest parts are molded in a clean way so there is no flash or any other possible issue next we continue with the sprue which is dedicated to the engine parts and also to the cooling parts as you can see here so cooling should be assembled out of several panels note that these frontal sections are molded separately which is really nice because you won't have any gaps in the middle and that's a quite a visible area so that's why it's so important note that we have all the engine parts here which is quite surprising to be honest because we do not have a simple tab which will be replacing the engine. We have nicely detailed engine and it's worth thinking how to expose it on your model because it would be a shame to hide it under the cooling and then it will be barely visible. But maybe some models will be fine with it, who knows. But I would rather recommend to invest time and try to bring out such notable feature. Next we're moving on to the traditional bonuses for the profit pack. So here you can see the first one. This is a mask sheet and it's a pre-cut mask which should be handy not only for the canopy but also for the landing gear wheels. And one more thing is the P fret. It's quite tiny considering the fact that we are dealing here with a 148 scale model. Still the P fret as you can see barely fits on my palm. And here we have also glazing over the dials. Obviously the pre-painted parts they will go into the cockpit and it's still a nice inclusion into the kit because it will be noticeable in the cabin. So that's why I always recommend to apply them unless you have some issues maybe with eyesight or maybe with the uh, hands coordination then definitely go for decals which will be easier to work with. And now I'm actually opening the plastic bag with decals. So just give me a second. And surprisingly we have only one decal sheet here. It is printed in Edward and we have all necessary symbols printed there. So if I zoom out, maybe put the sticker here. And here you can take a closer look at this decal sheet. So here we have all the necessary symbols for six markings. And we also have stencils. We have some decals for the cockpit and everything looks nice. I think that's the traditional Edward quality. Do not forget that you can apply these decals in two ways. So if you are experienced enough, you can try to remove the carrier film. Then these decals will look almost like painted over the model surface. And this is quite impressive finish, but it requires some experience, as I said. And of course, some braveness because you might damage it easily and then it will be a really tricky thing to repair. But Edward have, uh, has really good manual on how to do this so you can train it first and then try to do it on your model. So here we have the assembly manual it's printed in form of large brochure with a short history note on the first page we have also parts map here blue color obviously means that these parts will not be used. The assembly process starts with the cockpit note that red areas mean that you have to cut them off or send them off in order to replace them with P parts. 
Next, we continue with the main wheel wells. So here you can see that a lot of stuff will have to be combined together. And that's what I was talking about because it's surprisingly detailed for out of the box uh, feature. And I really recommend to spend some time trying to bring out all the necessary features here with help of weathering. Next, we continue by joining Fizzlewatch together, putting the cockpit in between. And here we continue with wing parts, engine assembly, cooling installation, then we have the tail surfaces as you can see. Next we continue with the main landing gear. Here we work on the landing gear wheels. And note that even the tail landing gear wheel is molded separately, so that's quite a handy feature if you would like to replace them with resin parts. We also have masks application guide there. And then we also continue with the canopy where you have to decide whether you would like to have open canopy or closed canopy. Next we have the first marking guide. Here is the second one, third one. So these two aircraft from 1942. These two are also from the same year, but as you can see the marking styling is slightly different. And here we have one more with the dark blue on the top. This is really interesting. Uh, color choice so it might be a good opportunity to copy it it's by the way from the 1944 so this kit should be already available and in my opinion this profit pack gives you a good opportunity to build a famous wildcat in 148 scale and it offers you a modern design in such popular sizing of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye